this study all started with John Sheehan. Several years ago, he was brought to UNC to study mucins. He was a mucin man, was a biophysicist, and this is what he cared about. He passed away about a year and a half ago now, and when he first came here, there was about five people studying mucus, and now the vast majority of the Cystic Fibrosis Center is studying mucus in some form or some fashion, and I think John Sheehan deserves the bulk of the credit for that. He knew he was going to pass away for four or five years before he did, and his goal was to build the next generation. And uh, so he obviously had Mehmet to start with, who was a, a wonderful investigator. And then Ashley Henderson was a clinician that came into the lab. The key to life for us is when the mucus layer is moving, that's great. And uh, that's what clears infection out of our lung, viruses, bacteria, and this sort of thing. When the mucus layer doesn't move, that's equally bad because now all those viruses and bacteria can set up shop and essentially grow in that mucus environment. And that leads to the kind of chronic infection that we see in CF. There had been published papers stating that there were fewer mucins in CF mucus than in normal or other chronic hypersecretory diseases, and we felt that that was not correct. So we started finding different ways to demonstrate that the mucin concentration was higher in CF. We used non-antibody types of measurements, lots of other biophysical measurements, to quantify are those mucins actually present. Mucins are uh, hyperconcentrated three times in cystic fibrosis lung. And also we found that uh, osmotic pressure as a result is almost six times higher uh, than normals. And it turns out the mucin concentration drives the water drawing power of the mucus layer. And the mucus layer normally slides over the airway surface across a lubricant layer that's well hydrated. And if the mucus concentration is increased, its water drawing power is proportionally increased and it sucks the water out of that lubricant layer and now the mucus layer then slams itself down and sticks to the airway surface. If we can find ways to decrease the mucin concentration at the surface of the airways, then we might be able to improve how they're able to clear the mucus from their lungs. This is true not only for cystic fibrosis, but other diseases like COPD, which is chronic bronchitis, and asthma, which also produce a lot of sputum. This paper was a fun one because it's, um, like we call in, this, in the Marsco Lung Institute, it's an onion paper. And it started out with a, a kernel uh, 10 years ago of Ashley's initial observations, and then we added and added and added and added. And when we had all the pieces together, then we published it. So it's a fun paper because it has work 10 years old, and by the time it went in, 10 days old. Um, but it was the net result of having you know, a very integrated group.